Shalom and welcome back to Culture Show. All right, listen, uh, 24 hours after doing the Hagman and Hagman show, uh, the channel did see a spike in numbers. So praise uh, to our creator for that. And thank you to, I'm sure, the Hagman and Hagman listeners who came over and subscribed. I appreciate that. I hope that you help me in this endeavor to spread the word and get the, the, this channel um, you know, in the content into your hands of the people that you care about. I believe that there's information here that is locked in our scripture that is essential for the end of days. Uh, well, and, and, and without uh, any more delay, let's just get to a good example of that. And that is uh, something many people ask me about all the time, which is the mark of the beast. And here we have uh, the mark of the beast or the beast system uh, is our access term. You can see here in the dark letters, that is the access term. And thus will be the topic of this table. Uh, but first, let me just say this to the listeners that were uh, listening live to the Hagmans last night. Um, my objective last night was to give you uh, meat and potatoes, and because I, I believe there's an essential, critical uh, message that needs to be out there, and so we, for for you know, I don't want to say overlooked the essentials or the 101 of of code searching, which there were several people who were asking questions of how it works. Um, I didn't mean to uh, neglect you guys. We can at some point. Uh, answer your questions and and get to the uh, the how to and, and the the milk uh, if you will of the codes but um, I felt it was important and and I hate that it may have been poor uh, content or poor planning uh, whatever uh, so far the, the the feedback has been positive but there have been a few that expressed that they wanted to know more about how it worked um, and so what I try to do is direct them to the Jonesboro Conference, which explained a lot of things. But, uh, folks, it was my heart that was in it to, you know, get the critical facts out there. And uh, I didn't mean to, to confuse. So please forgive me for that. But all right. Now on to the business at hand, which is the um, very interesting table of the Mark of the Beast or the Beast system. And look right across the top. You have the Pope. Uh, he is here. And also, uh, this is interesting, which you got Obama in here a few times. Now, look at this. It's vertical here, the Aleph, Bet, Mem, Hey. But it connects with the Aleph in FEMA. Of course, FEMA is here a couple of times. FEMA is there. It's also in this verse I have highlighted in red. Actually, it starts over here. And it's, and it's there. Um, you also have the economy in the plain text right there. It's also in the green uh, here in ELS form, uh, which is the economy. Uh, here's an Obama again. Oh, and here as well. Crossing over. That is something very important in that verse. That's why I got it highlighted like this. Um, got judgment up here several times. Judgment. Also... Uh, of the abortions, stopping right here in the hay, uh, that is in uh, Harlot, Harlot connecting with the soul. Uh, that very same word is is here as well, the Harlot, and it is here, vertical. And there is a year, hey, Tom, Shin, Ein, hey, and possibly another year, Bob, the very next letter in the sequence is the Vav, which would be next year, 2016, or uh, what's coming up uh, here in the Gorgarian, 2016. So you got Hey, Tav, Shin, Ein, Hey, and what we are currently in, Vav, which would be 2016, right there. Um, look at this. In the red, we have uh, the world, Ulam, in the red, there's the whole world under this system of course America is not the only one but we do show a strong um, presence in this table here uh, of course it's up here is America but um, 
so in other places, but I had to back it out, guys. Uh, I looked for other countries, and you are there. Uh, you're part of the beast system as well. No matter where you are, you are here. So to keep things simple, I just left, well, the example, uh, I believe you who has been using, which is the fallen America. Uh, uh, we got CERN. Look at this. CERN is here. And it's going to be really interesting when you see where this verse and what's under this verse uh, as far as concern uh, is concerned. <laughs> There you go. How about this? Um, the sign in the hand. And if you look at this, the mark. And we're talking about the beast system, the mark of the beast. The mark, the sign in the hand. Right there. And we also got uh, RFID and the fallen, or the very root word for Nephilim, Nephel, written backwards here, Noon, Pei, Laman. Fell, and you got world here, Olami, Olami, and Ishmael, folks. Ishmael plays a part in the B system. That's what I was trying to get into last night on the Hagmans was the the swords, the cross swords, and the fulfillment of Ezekiel 21. These this is a clear sign to that particular time, which is now, of when these things occur. Uh, the sword of Yahuwah is coming in the form of Islam in Ishmael, the seed of Ishmael, which was uh, to be the sword. I guess who is of that seed? Obama, of course, in this text. Right there. And I believe that is all the... Oh, whoops, how about this? We've got computer in the gold here, also with computer. But look at what it, it, it butts to. Wickedness. So we've got FEMA, computers, wickedness, and computers with judgment. All in one area there. Of course, this is uh, the economy. Uh, and I would say, let's go on to read the, the verses. How about that? And so here we are in First Kings. Uh, right here where you have the name Elijah by the way in here I just want to read from where we are and this is 18 uh, verse 1 it came to pass after many days that the word of Yahuwah came to Elijah in the third year saying go show thyself unto uh, Ahab and I will send rain upon the land and which is that's really interesting that this is taking place now is this the former rain or at this case be the latter rain because if you can see down at verse 8 um, Elijah's declaring that he has arrived and if you look at just the sold level of the understanding of this table the context of this table which is the beast system an end time event something that happens uh, that we deduce happens because of revelation um, and look what's going on here um, he is someone that plays a part uh, tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here. And that is the chapters that run through there. Uh, this was very interesting. Down in Isaiah, um, I believe, yeah, this is the 13th and 22nd verse. And then, uh, of course, the f chapter 14 is really interesting because that is when Lucifer is cast out. Um, but right here, what I have in... 13, excuse me, 1322. And the wild beasts, uh, table, the beast system, and the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and the satyrs shall dance there. And, uh, you know, there, there was something with, with the connection of, uh, owls and satyrs, or uh, I don't even know if I'm saying this right in the uh, Bohemian Grove. Um, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desert houses and the dragons in pleasant places. And her time is come to near, excuse me, and her time is near to come and her days shall no, not be prolonged. For I, Yahuwah, will have mercy on Jacob and will choose Israel and set them in their own land 
and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Yaakov. And that's right through there. Uh, of course, this is Isaiah, and then we get into Jeremiah. But I thought this was really interesting here. I want to point out. We're in the 32nd chapter of Jeremiah. But uh, let's, let's take a look at what's, what's going on in verse 30. Um, starting with verse 29, they're call, talking about the Chaldeans that fight against this city shall come and set fight on this city and burn it with houses upon whose roofs they have offered incense to Baal and poured out drink offerings to other gods to provoke me to anger. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done evil before me from their youth. For the children of Israel have I only provoked me to anger. Excuse me. Have only provoked me, provoked me to anger from the work of their hands, saith Yahuwah. For this, for this city hath been to me as a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it even until this day that I should remove it from before my face because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Judah that they have done to provoke me to anger they their kings their princes their priests their prophets and the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and they have turned back and back unto me and they that have turned unto me the back and not the face though I taught him rising up early and teaching them Yet they have not hearkened to receive re instruction. But they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name to defile it. And they have built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire of Moloch. And f folks, that is um, an abomination. The land is defiled because of innocent blood. And this is exactly what's taking place. And you see Obama's name is in there with the olive. Is what's taking place in this country. Sacrificing babies to Moloch. And this is what they do, though not uh, literally in uh, Bohemian Grove. They do that by the abortions. But they chant and they dance around to Baal, to Moloch, which I commanded them not, neither came it to my mind that they should do this abomination to cause you to the sin. Now therefore, thus saith Yahuwah, the God of Israel, concerning this city, whereof ye say, it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword. Remember the swords, I'm telling you. The sword of Yahuwah is coming. The sword. And by famine, and by pestilence, behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whither I have driven them. And in my anger, and in my fury, and in my great wrath, I will bring them again unto this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. And they shall be my people, and I shall be their Elohim. Amen. Then on down, uh, this next verse is also in Jeremiah. I want to hit that one, which is 5034, and we could we could go through here systematically one by one, and you can see uh, the bulk of where this thing lands, what you who's trying to tell us, and that's exactly what these codes mean. It, it is on a specific width of around a cylinder, so he put this here for a reason at that. So we're looking basically at a combination lock in the scripture with terms that come up at this width of a, on a cylinder and we're looking at the terms that he wants you to see that come up that interact with words like this the sign on the hand or the mark on the hand in these verses i think he wants you to see those verses same thing with cern in that verse which uh we can go look at that now which is 50 34 of jeremiah And let's just start at 33. Thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Yahuwah were oppressed together. 
and all that took them captive held them fast, and they refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. The, the Adonai of hosts is his name. The Lord of hosts is his name, and he shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and, dis, and the disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Think of this spiritually, folks. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, say, saith Yahuwah, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. And her sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all their mingled people that are in the midst of her. And they are become as a woman. A sword is upon her treasures. And they shall be robbed. A drought is upon her waters. And they shall be dried up. For it is a land of graven image. And they are mad upon their idols. Wherefore the beast, the wild beast, beast of this table, of the desert with the wild beast of the island shall dwell there. And the isles, the isles of Bohemian Grove shall dwell therein. They shall be no more inhabited forever, neither shall it be shall be dwelt in from generation to generation. As God or Elohim overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith Yahuwah, shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. How is that for warning? Behold, a people shall come from the north, a great nation, and many kings shall rise up against up from the coast of the earth and they shall hold the bow and the lance and they are cruel and they will show no mercy and their voice shall roar like the sea and they shall ride upon horses upon every one put, a, a, put in array like a man into battle against thee O daughter of Babylon and uh, this is like the pains of a woman in travail, folks. This is last day stuff. Against America. CERN is in here. The noon in CERN is of CERN right here coming across. Stopping there. And we'll go to this is in, I believe, Ezekiel. Where this is. Yes. Ezekiel 8 and 1. There's the noon there. But here's the Bob. Which is back over uh, this way, because there is, you see, the shin. So we'll go there. And I'll read. Now, this is concerning CERN now in the context, I believe, because the noon that stops there. But just bear with me. And it came to pass in the sixth year, watch this, in the sixth year, in the sixth month, and in the fifth day of the month, fifth day, not the sixth day, which would have made it six, 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 but the day before. The fifth day, six, six, five of the month, as I sat in thine house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, and in, and the hand of Yahuwah, Elohim, fell there upon me, and then I beheld, and like lo, like the likeness of appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loin, even downward fire, from the loins of even upward, in the appearance of his brightness, of brightness as color of amber and he put forth the form of a hand and he took me by the lock of mine head and his spirit lifted me up between the earth and heaven and it brought me in the visions of Yahuwah to Jerusalem to the door of the inner gate and looked toward the north and where there was a seat of the image of jealousy which provoked to jealousy and behold, the glory of Yahuwah of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw in the plain. And then he said unto me, Son of man, lift up my, thine eyes now to the way to the north. So I lifted my eyes and looked in, in, to the way of the north. And behold, northward at the gate of the altar of the image of jealousy in the entry. Is this that um, image at, at uh, CERN with Shiva? I don't know. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Son of man, 
He said, furthermore to me, son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations of the house of Israel committed here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, and behold, a hole in the wall. And he said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the hole, in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, and behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold, the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went and, and saw, and behold, every one from form of creeping things, and the abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Israel, poured, portrayed upon the wall around about. And there stood them seventy men of ancients of the house of Israel. In the midst of them stood Jazaniah, and the son of Samphath, and every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chamber of his imaginary? And he said, the, the Elohim seeth us not, and the Elohim hath forsaken the earth. And he said unto me, Turn ye yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. And he brought me to the door of the gate the Lord's house, which was on toward the north. And he said, Behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. And you get the picture. And this is, uh, I believe, concerning, uh, in the context of this, because uh, this could also could be Islam, because you'll see that there are men who are praying toward the east. They're bowed toward the east with their back toward the temple, and they're worshiping the sun toward the east. I believe this is Islam. Um, but uh, it could be the CERN stuff. Uh, so we go down to this verse, which is right there. And this is Ezekiel 26, 19. This is what I have highlighted. Now shall the isles tremble in the day of thy fall. Yea, the isles that are in the sea shall be troubled at thy departure. For thus saith Yahuwah Elohim, when, I, when shall I make thee a desolate city like the cities that are not inhabited? When shall I bring up the deep upon thee, and the great water shall cover thee? And when shall I bring down with them that descended to the pit, and all the people of old time, and they shall see, set thee in the lower parts of the earth, in the places of desolate of old, and they and them that would go down unto the pit that thou be not inhabited, and I shall set glory in the hand of the living, and I will make thee a terror, and thou shalt be no more. Though thou be sought for, yet shalt thou never be found again, saith Yahuwah Elohim. And that is a stern warning, folks. Got America involved there in uh, this country's turn its back on on the Creator, and with the help of uh, other entities, they have removed and stolen the name out of the out of the word, so that you had no power. Uh, they they took the name and and, and cursed it of the of the Savior, um, so you wouldn't go around it. You call him something else. Um, there's been deception on many levels. Uh, but he is revealing things in his hidden word, which is in his word. All right, now we're in Hosea, right here on this yellow verse. Chapter 11, verse 1. When Israel was a child, and then I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt. As they call, and as they called them, so they went from them, and they sacrificed unto Balaam, and they burned incense to graven images. And I taught Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms, but they knew not that I healed them. And I drew them with cords of man, with bonds of love, and I was to them as they had take off the yoke on their jaws, and I laid meat unto them. 
and he shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrians shall be as his king, because they refused to return. Um, there comes a time, folks, where he's going to be calling back Israel and Ephraim back. This is different from the Jews. The Jews was Judah. Um, there is currently ten tribes that will be called back, and these is them, Ephraim, Israel. All right, this next is in Obadiah. Very interesting read here. Chapter 1, verse 11 is what we'll be reading. Oh. All right. Shall I not in that day, saith you, even destroy the white man, wise men out of Edom and the understanding out of the mount of Esau and, the, and, the, and thy mighty men, O Timah, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau be cut off by the slaughter. For violence against thy brother Jacob's shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And in that day thou stoodest on the other side. In the day that strangers carried away captives, his forces and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast one of them but thou shouldst not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger neither should thou have rejoiced over the children of judah in the day of their destruction neither should thou have spoken proudly in the day of their distress but thou shalt have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity yea thou should have not looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity neither shouldst thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape, neither shouldst thou have delivered them up of his that did remain in a day of distress. There was traitors of the land of God's people, of his people, Yahuwah's people. For as the day of, the, of Yahuwah is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall be upon thine own head. For as thine have drunk upon thy, my holy mountain, even shall the, the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord, for Yahuwah, has spoken it. And that's a strong word right there. Hallelujah. Here's the next, and I'll try to wrap it up here, folks. This is Zephaniah. Zephaniah, and I believe there is one more that will bless you, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Zephaniah, chapter 1. <clears throat> All right. 16, 17, 18. In a day of wrath, in a day of trouble and distress, in a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a cloud of cloud, a day of clouds, and a day of thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers, and I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against Yahuwah, and their blood shall be poured out like dust, and their flesh is dung. And neither shall silver nor gold be able to deliver them in the day of the Yahuwah's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. Mm. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. But watch what happens here. And just down in this one right here is a good one to end on because it's hope in what's taking place and we're in Zechariah chapter 12 
And folks, I hope this blesses you because this is a promise of the Messiah, Yeshua, who will come back. And starting with verse, uh, how about 8? Let's start with 8. Chapter 12, verse 8. In that day shall Yahuwah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them in that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as Yahuwah. And as the angel of Elohim before them. And it shall come to pass in that day. That I will seek to destroy all nations. Everybody say all nations that come against Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him as one mourns for his son. And it shall be in bitterness for him as that of bitterness of his firstborn. And in that day shall be great mourning in Jerusalem in the morning of Hadad Dramon. The Valley of Megiddo. This is the Valley of Armageddon, folks. And the land shall mourn every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, their wives apart, the family of the house of Levi apart, the wives apart, the family of Shemi apart, their wives apart, all the families that remain, even family apart, and their wives apart. And in that day there should be a fountain open to the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem for the sin for uncleanness. And it shall come today in that past that Yahuwah of Elohim that I, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land and there shall be no more remembered. And I will also cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land and it shall come to pass that when they shall prophesy then his father and his mother that begot him shall say unto him thou shalt not live thou that speaketh lies in the name of Yahuwah and his father and mother that begot him shall thrust him through when he prophesied that's a warning to false prophets that say things they shouldn't say uh, they say they dream dreams um, this is what takes place in that time. Um, but there you go. If I find anything else folks. I will do a revision of this. But I thought it was really interesting. That uh, you can find. The Mark of the Beast is in here. It's in the prophets. They're telling us something. They're telling us. This is more than just coincidence. This defies randomness. This is intentional. Shalom. May you who bless you and thank you to those that support this ministry. Uh, I really need it and I really need your prayers that in the upcoming weeks, folks, there's some critical things that are about to take place. Thank you. Shalom.